Welcome to the Tal Untamed show. This is our fifth in the series and our last before Pesach. So welcome to all our brilliant and incredible guests. We have a fabulous, fabulous show on this evening. Being the last in the series, it's going to be amazing. We've got fantastic contestants and we have been to a very, very special place earlier. But before, I just want to introduce, it's going to be Pesach soon. It's crazy. Everybody's out there shopping. Perhaps you're going to Kosher King, one of our previous supporters of this wonderful show. I was there today. It was packed. Everybody's shopping. What do we do on Pesach? Pesach, well, we're going to be eating matzah. We're going to be drinking the wine, the four cups of wine. We're going to be sitting at the Seder night and we're going to be speaking about God's greatness. We're going to say a big, big thank you positivity. Everything that's to do with Pesach, have you noticed, is to do with the mouth. It's to do with eating. It's to do with speaking. It's to do with the mouth. Pesach, the mouth speaks. This evening, we're going to have some fun. We're going to have a quiz. We're going to have the Talantain show, but we're also going to have some inspiration. So earlier today, we paid a visit to one of our local producers for fun if you're watching on the Tal Instagram, the Tal Facebook, or on the Tal YouTube channel, post your answers as to where we were earlier today. Have a look at this video. We're going to go back there shortly, but I can see a lot of you already know where we were. It's a famous place, and it's in London, of course. Coming to that shortly, let's have a look and let's introduce our first contestants of the evening. They are none other than Danny and Tanya Dahan. Can we bring them into the studio? Welcome, guys. Hi. Hi. How are you feeling this evening? Good. Excited. Excited. Are you you got the adrenaline? Are you ready to always, win? Always. Always. Okay, good, good. Tell us a little bit about yourself, Danny. So yeah, my name is Danny Dehan, married to Tanya. We've got three kids, live in northwest London, down the road from the Tull Center. And uh yeah, very excited to be on here. It's unbelievable that you're down the road from the Tull Center because that is gonna be a very special place, and we're looking forward to really inviting you here to the studio where it's all happening in person. Welcome to the show. Get ready. You've got amazing, amazing questions coming up and great contestants as well. So big round of applause for the Dahans. Okay, and now over to our second family. It's none other than Moshe and Yusufa Abraham. Hi. We welcome you. Hello. How are you doing, guys? Good. Good. Where are you tuning in from? Tell us. All the way from Stanford Hill. Fantastic. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about yourself, Moshe. Um, yeah, well, so uh, obviously, Rabbi, I've known you since uh, before even tell. And uh, yeah, it's been a pleasure to know you. And uh, we've been in contact for many years. And uh, you've been a constant source of inspiration to us. Baruch Hashem. I hope you're not buying points over here, but that was very may, good. <laughs> may I just say that uh, your your hair looks lovely, Rabbi. Your glasses, you. that's beautiful, right. that's beautiful. Right. I try my best, especially before the show. Tell so your producer welcome. to take notes and add points. That's right. They they're coming. The points are coming <laughs> now, guys. This is the Tal Untamed show. For the Tal Untamed show, you guys are going to choose special buzzer words. Think about those for the moment. We're going to get to that in a moment, but first. We're going to reveal where exactly we were earlier. Where were we earlier? We were in none other than Golders Green Road. That's right. We've been there before on the Kosher King side, but this is a bit further down. We were in Golders Green Road. Johnny Eisenberg says 241 <laughs> Golders Green Road. He's even given the thing. Chaya Cohen is saying, Coco, let's see. Later on, we're coming back to exactly where we visited 
But first, let's advance on to the first round of the Tal Untamed show. Okay, guys. So earlier I was speaking to Tanya and, and Danny, and you said, what is going to be your buzzer name? Shuck Shuka. Shuck Shuka. Why do you choose Shuck Shuka, Tanya? Tell us. Danny likes it. Danny likes it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Those eggs and the tomatoes. Do you get it every Sunday for breakfast or something? Yeah. <laughs> every weekend. <laughs> every weekend. Okay. Now we know what's going on in the, the Han family. Shakshuka <laughs> is that what Shakshuka originates from which country? Well, I mean, I, with Mor with a Moroccan dad, we had it every weekend in the morning. But I'm, I don't know if it actually originates from Morocco. Okay, okay. I thought it was uh, okay. Very nice. Maybe, maybe let's come on to the Yemenite, uh, Indian Iraqi family over here, the Abraham family. What is going to be your buzzer name? Go ahead. Hummus. 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 So we got the hummus against the shakshuka. Okay. <laughs> hummus and shakshuka. You got to speak loudly so that we can hear the buzzer. And we're going to come to the first question. The way it works like this. I'm going to mention the question. The first person on the buzzer gets to answer. You've got five seconds to give your first answer. If you're on the board, you get to choose whether you want to take it to your family or you want to give it over to the other family. If you take it to the family, you're going to choose every single answer you get it you keep all the points if you miss and you get three strikes it goes over to the other family and they can steal all the points are we ready yes okay first question coming up on the board on which topic might a father give advice to his son <laughs> Okay, hummus. Okay, we can't hear you. You want to speak a bit slow? Go ahead, Moshe. Um, uh, relationships. Relationships. So Moshe says, on which topic might a father give advice to his son? We asked a hundred people. Do we have relationships on the board? Yeah, of course, going to be there. The women stroke relationships. Okay, so you get a choice. There's six answers. You've given one answer. There's five more to go. Do you want to take it to your family, or do you want to give it over to the Dahan family and try and steal later? What are you going to say, Moshe and Yusla? We'll keep it. We'll keep okay, it. Okay, it's staying. You got three strikes. Remember, and then it goes to the. The Han family who are conversing there to see if they yeah. can steal. Okay, go ahead. So the question again, on which topic might a father give advice to their son? On which topic might a father give advice to his son? Over to you. Um, education on Torah. Education stroke Torah. Education on Torah. Remember, this is a Jewish question. Oh, yes, we have it there. Very, very good. <laughs> Education, Torah, it's always important. In fact, it's one of the mitzvot that we mentioned in the Shema. You should teach your children. Excellent. Okay, so you've hit two so far. Four more to go. It gets harder as you go along. Which topic? Can a father give advice to his son? Respect your mom. <laughs> Hear what? Respect your mom. Respecting the mother. Respect the mother. Hundred people were asked. Did anyone say respect the mum? Oh. We're out. We're out. We're out. You've got two more choices. Two more times to get out. It's okay. Think about it. Father to son, giving the advice. Wait, wait, health kind of thing. Now, one second. Anyone in the audience that's listening, any friends that want to offer support, can do so by posting their answers on the Tal Facebook. Ah, uh, dating. Daniel Elias says dating or career advice. Yeah. Simon Zakai says finance. Bar mitzvah. Bar mitzvah. Says bar mitzvah. Definitely. Halachic advice. Daniel Elias says. Simon Zakai says career. Bar Mitzvah. Okay, what's your answer? So, Bar Mitzvah. Do we have Bar Mitzvah on the board? No, 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 no. <laughs> That's what somebody else said. 
that that was yeah. that was our that was our son that gave that answer, by the way. Yeah, that was <laughs> tripping me up here. That was planted by the Dahan family. <laughs> To be honest, it's something we would have said. So you know, <laughs> getting this the twist in the talent game show is really letting itself out. This is getting stuck going on. Up. Okay, so you got your you got four more answers on the board. You got one chance left. Career, career. We're going for career jobs. Do we have career on the board? Yes, we do. 21 points. You've hit the top three. You've hit the top three. And now we are left with three. Father is going to give advice to his son. What is he going to give advice to his son? The Dahan family are conversing, getting ready to steal. They know their answer. It could be bat mitzvah. No. <laughs> well, that's it. There, Mo Moshe and Yusufa, your final answer. Uh, <laughs> um, all the answers are there already. Um, uh, Daniel and I said life advice or sporting, sports, cooking. Sports, sports. Sports. We're going for sports. Do we have sports on the board? Yeah. Wow. wow. Listen, you might not get to keep these points. You gotta I'm get the other two to keep the points. I think we should give it over and then we steal it. Can't do it over now. That's it. It's too late. Okay, so we can keep going. Yeah, you've got to keep going. It's your last chance. If you get one out, it goes over automatically to the Tahan family. So oh, okay. you've got ten seconds left to answer. Which topic oh. might the father give advice to his son? Buying a car. Buying a car. Do we have buying a car oh. on the board? Oh, now the way it works is the Dahan family have got the ability to steal. If they get oh. one thing on the board, they steal all the points. If they get nothing, the Abraham family keep the 80 points. What it's tense. It's Moroccan. It's shakshuka time. Let's go. <laughs> We're going to go with education. Education. Do we have education on the board? Education. The Dahan family to steal. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> that means the 80 points get banked by the Abraham family. Now, what was left on the board? Let's reveal number four, please. Children, family. A father speaks to the son and says, Kid, you know what? It's time you start a family, children, etc. How many you should have? What you should be doing with them? Give him the advice. And number five, please. Drugs and alcohol. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, which is the best whiskey, son? This is the best whiskey that you can drink. <laughs> no. Obviously, so I think it's amazing. People give different advice to their kids. And it's very wide. But you can see that the most advice is obviously on relationships. It's either relationships or building a family, a wife, etc., because that is the hemshech, that is the future. And we all want to be left with a future legacy. Of course, Torah is in there because without values, without ethics, building that future isn't going to be that strong. So, Rabot, moving on to round two. That was a brilliant round one. Big round of applause, everybody on the Facebook. On the Press those like for family Tahan and family Abraham. You guys are doing amazing. Okay. Hands on the buzzer, Shakshuka and Hummus. We're coming to round two. Here's the question. Name an occupation that you hope, that you hope is great at their job 100%. Shakshuka. Shakshuka. Oh. Name an occupation. Which occupation do you hope is good at their job 100% of the time? Go ahead. Five seconds Do left. Doctor. Doctor. You better be right. We want to make sure that the doctor is not making yeah. any any problems. Do we have doctor on the board? Yes, we do. 49. Wow. Do you want to stay or do you want to give it over? We'll play. We're playing. We're playing. Round of applause. The lights are coming in for the Tahan family. Let's go. 
Help out the Dahan family on the Tal Instagram and YouTube. Post your answers. And the face. Let's go. So, name an occupation that you hope is great at their job 100% of the time. Teacher. Teacher. Do we have a teacher? You want the teacher to be right 100% of the time? Do we have a teacher on the board? Oh. I'm sorry. Teacher, <laughs> 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 I can't hold it. You're not to love on somebody else's down for it. <laughs> okay, Yusuf and Moshe, keep it quiet over there. Don't give away, uh, don't reveal. We're, 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 we're good lip readers. We're going to be. <laughs> okay, you've got you've got advice. Matthew Shire is saying pilot. I can say oh, oh. Oh. So day is so days in there. Pilot. I think we're going to go with uh, Matthew and uh, Sorde. We're going to say pilot. Going for a pilot. Do we have pilot on the board? Do we have pilot on the board? The board coming back up. And yes, we do. Number two. Imagine being in an airplane and not having confidence over your pilot. I mean, you know, like. <laughs> Don't want to think about it. <laughs> realize it. We get in a plane, not anymore at the moment, but we get in a plane all day, you know. Nobody ever asked the pilot, you know, can I see your certificate? Are you, you know how to fly the plane? You know, I've got, you've got my life in your hands for the next few hours. Big, big thing to think about. Okay, so you got 10 seconds left for answer number three. You're going to say chef? Chef. You hope that the chef or the cook is right 100% of the time. Otherwise, a shakshuka <laughs> It's not on the board. So that is a no. So we've got more time answers. Oh, yeah. And I said, police. I don't know if the hell is kind of under the doctor's scenario. Uh, and uh, Dina, who is saying dentist? Dentist. We're going for dentist. Johnny Eisen is a leasing company. <laughs> very, very good, Johnny. Very good. Do we have dentist on the board? Ooh. Wow. Okay. So that means now that we are on to that <laughs> Right. For the steel. Our turn now. It's your turn. If you get number three, four, or five, you get to steal the points. If you don't, the Dahan family will be zoche in the same So we'll ask you that question again, and then you've got five seconds to answer. Name an occupation that you hope is great at their job 100% of the time. Over to the Abraham family. What do you say? 100% Mohel. Mohel. 100%. I'm not even... I can close my eyes. It's going to be true. <laughs> Mohel. Do we have a Mohel on the board? Mm. Oh. Oh. People didn't think about Mohel when they were answering. Uh, nobody's worried about the Mohel. What's I agree with you. With you. <laughs> I, just, I didn't think about a Mohel until I saw the answer pop up. Yeah. A brilliant answer. So I give you that, but you don't get to keep the points. The 70 points go to the Dahan family. And um, we are now, oh, not 170, but 70. There we go. You can give us 170. Uh, so now we know what's going on over here. It's actually going, what's going on over here. Going to the Dahan family. I thought I bribed him. You bribed him. <laughs> 80 points. Okay, so let's reveal what exactly is the other answers. So one of our audience actually said, Police. Do we actually have police on the board? Police. That's right. Police officer is on the board. Let's reveal number three. A lawyer. You want to pay. You're paying enough money. You know, you know who always benefits, unfortunately, from the machloket is the lawyer. The best thing to do if you ever have any disagreement is to try and sort it out. Mano a mano. And then you don't have to pay the lawyer the fees. You can give the money to tzedakah. Much better. I, I don't want to put any lawyers out of business, but don't worry. You've got enough business coming your way anyway. Number five. Was a bus or a taxi driver? Again, you're in a bus. You're in a taxi driver. is zooming ahead. You, you want to make sure that he or she is going in the right direction. Brilliant answers. So after two rounds, family Abraham is ahead of 18. His family Dahan is on 70 points. And a big round of applause. 
I think I'm sure the question to the people that uh, uh, you least trust. I don't know. Pardon? Shouldn't the question have been a list of the people that you least trust, going by the answers? You least trust. I, I think these, when we when we bring up these questions, it's in order to bring out a concept. And I think the first concept, the first question is giving advice. Sometimes we get lost by, by everything that's going on around us and we don't give advice to our kids. We just don't. We don't have the time to actually concentrate, go for a walk with them and say, hey, you know, you're a teenager, you're, you're, you're changing, you're getting ready, you know, oh, you know what, marriageable age, and have a proper conversation with them. It's so important, advice of the parents, and kids want to want that advice. It says in the Torah, ask your dad and he'll tell you. The elders will, will speak to you. And then the second point is sometimes we're always worried. We live in a society where we're worried. Oh, no, what's going to happen? The virus, pandemic. But we... We don't realize we've actually given our life. We put our life into people's hands many times before without worrying. We got on a plane, perhaps, if you're not scared of heights, without worrying. I'm just going, you get on a bus, you get on a taxi, you, you're in people's hands. And the reason why we don't worry is because at the end of the day, we have confidence. But at the end of the day, we know that God is running the show. Emunah. And once a person's got emunah, so everything else comes surreal. It's much more relaxed. And that's, that's Pesach. Pesach is a time of emunah. It's a time of freedom. That's what freedom is. Freedom is freedom from all this mental uh, stress, you know, and realizing that everything is in his hands. He's got us in, he'll take us out. Good. So we are now coming to the next part of the show. It's a fun time for our audience because audience, if you're listening, which you better tell all your friends to start listening, it's your turn to win a prize. Now, we were earlier at an unbelievable location. We were in Golders Green. And as we were walking around as Golders Green as you do, we noticed there is an incredible new place that's opened. It's called, did anyone guess it earlier? Coco. And Coco, that's right, it's Coco Bakery. It's on Golders Green Road. It's new. It's stylish. It's delicious. Mm -hmm. It's something original. It's some, offering something different. We went inside Coco. We're going to show you a video of Coco. And contestants, you got to watch the video care carefully because you're going to be asked questions afterwards about the Coco Bakery. <clears throat> and we went in there, and we're going to show you this video and i want to ask you a question this is a question for the audience answer the question correctly and you will be winning a prize simple delicious as a box of macaroons and a delicious rogelach right that are going to be coming your way all you have to do is write a simple answer what's the question the question is going to come up on the board so focus to answer the question. And the first question is as follows. Profiteroles and eclairs are made of what type of pastry? Profiteroles and eclairs are made of what type of pastry? Sounds pretty complicated, but I'm sure you guys in the audience know how to find the answer. Let's now look at the video that we showed earlier. Audience, post your answers if you want the ability to. Delicious, delicious. I mean, delicious, probably the best rogalach you'll taste in town. And macaroons, you can enjoy them. It's free if you're going to be a winner tonight. Chavod, let's look at this video. <laughs>
So that's Coco Bakery, and they are our sponsors this evening. They are going to be giving winners prizes of an unbelievable the winners are going to be winning there's a brilliant prize this evening and the runners up as well we have a beautiful cake that is going to be made for the winners a very special cake and there's going to be also for the runners up a they have as you saw there the salad bar salad bar for two courtesy of coco's bakery now, for the audience, we asked you a question. It's very simple. We said, what do you make? The profiteroles and eclairs are made of what type of pastry? Let's see some of the answers that some of you have been writing down. So we got Philo Pastry by Chaya Cohen. Yael Borger is saying, shoo. Puff Pastry says Caesar. Shoe, Michael saw they. It looks like his shoes. I don't know. S H O E. AstraZeneca, Shema Yisrael. Looks like a guy's shoe. Different spellings for shoes, but it looks like it's the most popular answer. So, do we have a winner this evening? Jasmine Harris. Jasmine Harris is our winner this oh, evening yeah. but don't worry audience because there is a second chance to win coming in a few moments for the audience as well so a big round of applause for jasmine for giving the right answer that's right so we went to this cocoa bakery and i'm telling you wow it, it makes a bit of a difference to the golders green scenery you know which you get the same baruch hashem we're blessed with so many amazing shops over there but it's something new it's a breath of fresh air and it's a beautiful, beautiful taste. And uh, the owner, the new owner, part of the owners we have known for the past few years, Baruch Hashem, even at Tal, coming to the Minyan and coming to, to Tal. And it's been a pleasure to actually go and see that they're building a business and we wish, wish them a lot, of, a lot of success. So we are coming now to round three. Okay, guys, round three of the Tal Amtem show. It's different to the previous rounds. Here, it is going to be rapid fire. Whoever gets to answer the first question, okay, gets to start, gets the advantage. Okay, so there is going to be five answers to the following question. But in order to start, I'm not going to ask you for a buzzer for this question. If you want to start, I'm going to ask you, as we did in one of our previous series, something a bit fun. I want you to appoint somebody, appoint somebody on your team. Who's going to be? <laughs> Danny. Okay, we've got Danny and Tanya appointing each other. So Danny, of course, you know, you have to, you have to listen to the wife. And Moshe, who's on your, your side? Who are you appointing? Your we'll, side. we'll make it equal. Okay, make it equal. Danny is on the Tahan family. Okay. Are you ready? This is just to see who's going to begin. I'm going to ask you to fetch something, to go and get something. Oh, my gosh. The, faster, the first person back with that something okay. is going to begin. Okay, are you ready to fetch something? Yes. Where, 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 where? In your house. Anything, anything that shows Judaism. Go fetch. Sidor, Shanukia, candles. is back. Oh, I mean, brilliant. I'm going to get it. That's fabulous. I just want, I, Lynn, listen, you, you won. The Abraham family won. But that was genius. So my hat's off for you. <laughs> to you, Danny. That was genius. I would normally give you the because it was just genius, but the Abraham family beat you to it. So let's start this round. Don't worry, there'll be another chance in a, in a few moments. Okay, so the Abraham family get to start. Don't reveal the answers. You only get to answer once, the Abraham family, and then it goes to the Dahan family to answer once and then back to you. Okay, backwards and forwards. So let's reveal the question of round three. Which is the most popular pastry sold at Coco Bakery? Which is the most popular pastry sold at Coco 
bakery. Come on. Okay, so it could be, you know, we're talking about pastries, meaning buns, uh, cakes, whatever it is involved in pastry. So over to you. You will have 10 seconds, each family, to answer. If you don't do it within 10 seconds, you lose the answer. So we're going over to you, and I'm counting over here. Chocolate balls. Chocolate balls. Three, two, uh, croissant, one. Croissant, croissant. I can't hear. Croissant. Croissant. Do we have any type of croissant on the board? Croissant, any type of croissant on the board? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 50 points to the Abraham family. So they go to the Abraham family. You're on 130. Remember the glitch? The Dan family is on 70. If Give the hundred at the end as a bakshish. But now we're on minus thirty. Ah, uh, there oh, we go. There we go. Okay, good. Now over to you, the Dahan family. Ten seconds to answer. Which is the most popular pastry sold at Coco's? Uh, chocolate rogalech. Chocolate rogalech. <laughs> yes, seventy. Oh, wow. Well done. You listen. You must be listening. The audience is getting some rogalech. It's obviously very popular. So, 75 to the Dahan family over here. And the points go going up to 145. Okay, over to the Abraham family. 10 seconds to answer, which is the most popular pastry sold, the Cocos. Barekas. 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 B.A. Barekas. Do we have any Barekas over here? Mm. Oh. Yeah. Over to the Dahan family. Your 10 seconds starts now. Profiteroles. Profiteroles. Do we have profiteroles? No. No. I also said that. Going over to the Moshe and Yusfa. No. Boreka? Give them some advice. Coco's Bakery, which is the most? You've been there. You've tasted delicious people, the popular. Post your answers on the tile Facebook, on the Instagram. Eclairs. Caesar says muffin. Uh, Michael says chocolate pastry. Bubka says Daniel. And biscuits says Daniel as well. Over to you. Three seconds. Two, one. Eclairs. Eclairs. I think we're on the Dahan family now. No? Whose turn is it now? <laughs> I said, I said, eclairs. I said eclairs. 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 Moshe says eclairs. Do we have eclairs over there? Onto the Dahan family. M muffins or muffins pastry? Muffins. Let's go for muffins. Let's go for muffins. Miss Muffin. Do we have muffins? We do. Oh. Muffin, 25 points. Over to the Dahan family. The Dahan family is taking over. Abrahams, come on. This is question round three. Uh. There are two left. Two left answers. Audience at home, give them a hand. Donuts. Have, uh, pain au chocolat from Tina Aboudi. We have uh, cheesecake by Daniel Elias. We have gingerbread. It's your turn, the Abrahams. You've got three seconds. Donuts. 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 Uh, you're going too traditional over here. This is Coco's. Coco's and Hanukkah. Uh, it's not one. Not, they do brilliant donuts, by the way. Okay, Danny. Tanya. We're going to go with uh, macaroons. Macaroons. Do we have macaroons on the board? Oh, there's only two more, guys. You could be reaching 50 points, Abraham family, and I'm going to give you a hint. Daniel Elias is saying cheesecake. Tina is saying pain au chocolat. There's cupcake. And this is a hint for everybody. It's one. One of those is on the board. Okay, yeah, let's say cheesecake. Three, two, one, go. Cup. I can't hear you. Cheesecake. Cheesecake. Oh. Oh, the family, I gave you a good hint. It's not cheesecake, it's one of the others. One of the others. <laughs> cupcake? What are cupcake? Do we have cupcake on the board? Oh. Yeah. 
<laughs> let's, let's see if you remember what I said. What was the other one? I can't remember. <laughs> oh. No, it wasn't there. Ginger? No. Gingerbread rash. It wasn't <laughs> A pound of chocolate. That's right, pound of chocolate. That was the other one I said, pound of chocolate. On the board, 25. Abraham. Now we're left with one more. Okay? So, over to the Dahan family. This has got, if you take, I'll give, I'll give a hint to both of you, so listen carefully. Sometimes you go into certain spice shops. You can smell <laughs> certain spices. And uh, sometimes the pastries have got something to do with spices. Uh, a, a cinnamon roll? A cinnamon roll. Do we have cinnamon roll? We should be learning chavruta. Cinnamon bun, yes. Oh, okay. Well done, well done. Nice okay, fantastic. So, everybody has taken those amazing points. Well done, that was brilliant. I said we should be learning a chavruta because you got the hint. Yeah, finally. I mean, it's good too. That's what chavruta is. You know, when you're learning one on one Torah, you know, you mash minds together. You actually uh, you get to the emet. That's the point of chavruta. Two people learning together get to the truth. That's why shiurim is always good to listen to a you know a nice shiur. But there's nothing better than learning one on one. Okay, and obviously when you're with your wives and you're Bringing your heads together, then you get the most out of it. You finally get down to what he or she wants. What is it that they're after? You actually converse and speak to each other. Okay, we are now coming to the final round. Are you guys ready? Yeah. It's been really fun so far. You guys are doing amazing. Round four. Now, for round four, I'm going to ask you a simple question. It's a Jewish knowledge question. Are you ready? Yeah. First yeah. person... First person that shouts out the answer will begin the round. Here's my Jewish question to you. On Pesach Seder night, how many matzot do you need in front of you at the table? Three. 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 Okay. Thomas has got it. Three. Thomas, they said three. Thomas is starting. Okay, let's go to round five. Which round four of the... Okay, are we ready? Here we go. Round four. Which are the five most popular toppings on the salad bar at Coco's Bar? Coco's Bakery. This starts with the Abraham family. You give one answer over to the Dahan family. Think about the five most popular toppings. You've got brilliant salads over there. We showed you in the video. You could see the different salads. So, Abraham family, we're going to have five second answers now. We're rapid fire. you got five seconds. Go. No. Cheese. 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 Oh, we don't have cheese. Over to the Dahan family. Five seconds. Tuna. Tuna. Do we have tuna on the board? Yes, we do. Well, the Dahan family and the Dahan family are now taking their lead to 220. Abrahams are on 155. You can get the number one slot. You get 75 points. You better get it, Moshe and Yusuf, if you want to be in the game. Let's go. No pressure. Egg, 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 no. Can't hit. Egg, egg, mayo. Egg, mayo. Do we have egg, mayo? Traditional. <laughs> no. <laughs> What's man selling? Oh, you, you have to watch the video. This is Coco's. Let's go. Smoked salmon. Smoked salmon. Do we have smoked salmon? Oh. Okay, audience at home, give them your answers. Support them. Support them well. Okay, delicious salads. Grilled vegetables. We've got roasted aubergine. We've got pickles. We've got sweet potato. We've got green olives. Aubergine. Aubergine, we're going for aubergine. Do we have aubergine on the board? Yes, we yeah. do. Yeah. Not the top one. What's the top one? Okay, Dan family, five seconds. Four, three, two, Israeli one. Salad. Israeli salad. Israeli salad. Do we have Israeli salad on the board? Top five. Oh. Abraham. 
cucumbers, potatoes, whatever, peppers, sorry, not potatoes. Obviously. So which one are you going for? Well, the well, what is that? Can, the Top five. Mix. Which that are the mix. five most popular? You walk in there and you say you want it. I need that. Cream cheese. Cream cheese. <laughs> Cream cheese is on the board or not? <laughs> this isn't Carmelis. Carmelis is on another night. Yeah, okay, let's go. Five, four. Who's it? Who's Oh. oh, we have a, a video bomber over there saying avocado for the Dahan family. Oh. <laughs> oh, let's give us your answers. Give us your answers. Top five. I know when I go in there what I want. Something sweet, something nice. Okay, Daniel I says olives, uh, honey mustard. We've had lettuce. We've had sweet potato. Over to you, Abraham family. Lettuce. <laughs> lettuce. Do we have lettuce? Yeah. Top five. Oh, yeah. 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 50 points to the Abraham family. Okay, this is this is getting interesting. Shakshukas, five. We corn. Corn. We have corn. Why is this yeah, this is one, oh, yeah. Oh, Abraham family thought you hustled it, but you damn it. Five. <laughs> Four. <laughs> Us, us? Yeah. Yes. Uh, Two, peppers. one. Peppers. Oh <laughs> I think you've heard about the entire vegetables. Has given you advice and you're not taking it. Listen to the audience. Michael Sorde loves his tomatoes. Make sure they're red. Daniel Elias is going with olives. Otto, nothing. The otto. He's going with tomatoes. Matthew's going with cucumber. We, we mentioned a few of those. Let's go, Danny. Oh, what, which one? Olives. 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 We're going for olives. One of the Shivat Haminim, the seven fruits that the land of Israel is blessed with. Does cocoa have it? Yes, of course, green olive. Rabotai, we are uh, missed 50 points of the Dahan family. They've now taken the lead. It's 270 Dahan family. Family Abraham, 230. Whoever gets the number one is the winner. It's over to the Abraham family. One of the things that I've said previously is probably number one. Hint, hint. I can't give more than that. Let's go. Number one. Pickles. I'm telling you. Everything. Pickles. Pickles. Uh, the problem, Moshe, you don't listen. Pickles. Do we have pickles? <laughs> Rabbi, I'm very disappointed. <laughs> no, we don't. Listen. <laughs> Over to Tanya and Danny. Do we have number one? This is sweet. What the hell is sweet? Beetroot. Beetroot. Do we have beetroot? <laughs> Onions at home. If you've been to Coco, if you've been there, you'll see that you want something to add to your salad that's a bit sweet, as we mentioned before. Ketchup. Something nice, a bit of a taste to the rest of your green olive, tuna mayo, lettuce, roasted aubergines. What do you think it is? Whose turn? It's the Abraham family. Oh, ketchup. Not ketchup. ketchup. Not ketchup. Five. Ketchup. Just a ketchup. Ketchup. I don't know. Ketchup. <laughs> Okay, five audience at home. Cranberry yeah. says Jasmine, sweet potatoes, sweet potatoes, sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes. chilies, cranberries, chilies, sweet potato. The Dahan family is going for sweet potato. Number one, is that you? That is brilliant. The Abraham family, you really fought well. 230 is a very top score. 320, the Dahan family have got it. And we are going to come to our winners in just a moment. But on the Talent Team show, it's not just the winners who are winners. It's not just the runners-up that are winners. It's not just the amazing supporting producer, Coco, that's winning. It's also the audience. Um, the audience is winners not just because they get to take home a brilliant prize, another prize which we're going to offer after this inspiring video, but also we get some fun. We get to be together, even though we're far away. Tal brings everybody together, Baruch Hashem, have some fun, some sanity during these difficult times, and also some words of wisdom. So we're about to play a video to our audience. 
Audience at home, if you're listening, this is your chance to win a prize from Coco Bakery. And I'm telling you, it's delicious. Watch this video and have in mind the following question. Which car is mentioned in the video? This is a video of the Tal. This is a Tal Power Minute in which I send out every week. There's a special video that goes out. It's around roughly about a minute, just over a minute long of inspiration. Which car is mentioned in this video? video. Are you focusing on me right now or are you looking a little bit right and left? I'll tell you something. Focus because focus determines your reality. I'll give you a great mashal that a rabbi shared. There was once a guy that made millions overnight and he wanted to buy a Lamborghini all his life. He went out there and he bought the Lamborghini, but he didn't realize how worried he was that somebody might steal this Lamborghini. So he spent the entire night sitting inside the Lamborghini, worried. The next day, he called some contractors and he built a massive garage. They were building for a few weeks. Eventually, he brings the Lamborghini inside and now he can go to sleep. But that night, he couldn't sleep again because he was worried there's no CCTV towers. Maybe someone will make a hole. He brought by CCTV cameras, then an alarm, then eventually lights. And still, he can't sleep until he employs a guard to be there 24 hours a, a day. He wakes up still at 2 o'clock in the morning, comes down to see the guard is still awake. He says, okay, good, good. I was just worried. Maybe you'd be sleeping. Stop worrying. Go to sleep, boss. It's okay. He says, no. I want you to think so that you stay awake. The guy says, okay, I'll think comes back at two o'clock. Are you thinking? Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about a bagel. If I eat it, uh, will, does that mean that the hole has vanished or is the hole still there? Okay, that's great. Comes back at four o'clock. Are you, oh, you're awake. What are you thinking about now? He says, I'm thinking about a rich man that made millions. He bought a Lamborghini and he's asking me to guard it. And he doesn't even realize since I got here, it's not even here. Focus on what matters. We come to Pesach and we get so involved in the cleaning and so making sure that the car is clean, the bags and everywhere. And there's no chametz in the whole house. And then we get to the Seder night and we're knackered. And there's no focus and we just want to finish already. Focus on what really matters. The baking of the matzot, the being there like kings and queens, the eating, the re relating to our children, making it happen because on Seder night, our rabbis tell us that God Almighty comes to visit our Seder night. It's such a special, beautiful moment. Don't miss the moment. Focus. It determines your reality. So I think that is the message of this evening is to focus and to stay focused on what is the goal. I think it was a brilliant question. Which car is mentioned in the video? So we've had a few answers posted. Which car is mentioned in the video? Of course, Johnny Eisenberg going with his Ford Focus, and Michael's there as well. Um, Michael is, of course, going with the Lamborghini, as is Johnny Harris, trying to do a duo over there, the two Harrises, to win another prize. Tina Budi. Caesar's going with the Lamborghini. Simon's like I said, Ford Focus. I think uh, let's go there. Who is the winner? Do we have a winner from the audience? Oh, <laughs> Michael. Michael is our audience winner. Okay. No comment on that one. Okay. So, Baruch Haba, welcome to our two brilliant audience winners. Well done to them. I want to just give a very big round of applause this evening to both our families the abraham family and the dahan family i think you guys did amazing just before we go we can ask you to make a lachaim as is the custom over here i just want to tell you you know we we've been through this terrible pandemic but baruch hashem tal is slowly opening it up physically spiritually and online we've been there throughout we've been packed with shiurim online talks game shows Everything is there. This week, we've got a special ladies program with Raya Tawil on Wednesday night on Zoom. Very nice insights into the Haggadah. We are giving away to a lot of students and young professionals that unfortunately are away from home, a special matzah pack from Tal and its supporters have generously given giving towards. We've done that for Purim. We've been there for Hanukkah as well. Tal is always there for the community. And we have an unbelievable way ahead of us. 
We have a new Tal synagogue where we have a minyan every Shabbat in the mornings. Very cool, very young, very energized. And together we can grow together, Bezat Hashem. So we want to see you wherever you are. If you're local, come in and join us as we start our journey, our physical journey, as we get out of lockdown, Bezat Hashem. If you're far, don't worry. We are close via the internet. Be in touch. So a big round of applause to Tanya and Danny, to Moshe and Yusra. And we'll go over to you to give us a nice bracha. Danny first. Bechavot. Nice lechaim. Bezat Hashem, when we're out of this lockdown, you'll continue to inspire us with these wonderful Monday night uh, quiz shows. And uh, looking forward to seeing the Tal Center with its uh, doors overflowing with people when we're out of lockdown. Bezat Hashem. L'chaim. Amen. Amen. L'chaim, l'chaim. L'chaim to Avim. Shalom. Amen. And to Moshe and Yusra. B'chavot. And uh, I tried to cheat. Well done to the Dahans. I uh, I know John O'Cohen, he's the owner of Coco. And I asked him if he would help me with the answers. And okay, you can't see that, but whatever. He basically rejects me. So that says he's a very honest guy. Everyone should go Coco. Well done to them. Uh, they're lovely people, blessed people. And uh, Tal is a blessed organization. And Hashem should bless us all. And the Dahans, well played. Well done. You took it from us, 10 points. I don't want to sound like uh, Megan and Harry, but uh, obviously. You know, I've got it. Um, I don't even know what the prize was, Rabbi. I didn't tell me what the prize was. The prize was, is a beautiful cake. We mentioned it's a big cake, specially designed by Coco for the winners. And for the runners-up, you guys are going home. Don't worry, you're not a loser. No one's a loser. You're going to have Send two, a cake, two, Rabbi. Send two a and cake. a salad bar. There you go. And don't worry, I've got a, I've, I've got a special matzot for you guys as well. Don't worry. We'll sort that out. And for anyone in the audience that needs... Tal is here for you. Stay tuned. This is the last of the series before Pesach, but we've got great stuff coming ahead. Big round of applause, and thank you for watching the Tal and Tame show. Wishing you all a Chag Sameach. Chag Sameach.